beetle pelting machine. Um, this is how you will receive it. It's sitting in the base and it ha you'll have two steel bars. One longer one goes on the front and a shorter one goes on the back. Make sure that the, you place them um, up against this peg and not over the, the little bearing here. Make sure it's just up to the bearing. To turn on the rollers, turn the power on. Make sure this setting here is either forward or reverse when you receive the machine. It'll be in the off position. So I'm going to put it on the forward and turn up the speed control here and that turns the roller bars to feed your um, product into the machine. The machine comes with a ramp, a clear acrylic ramp. You can place a light underneath the ramp if you want to um, be able to see um, if you have thin areas. I'm going to just demonstrate. This is a, um, some roving that was I needle felted. I'm going to turn on the needles. And then I'm going to turn on the rollers. And I can watch as the little set screw moves at the corner here. And turn, increase the needle speed, you know, go slower with the rollers, and I'm getting more needle felting. Okay, now I want to move over to the back of the machine. As the piece comes out, you can place the roller bar over it, and then the back bar pulls through. So you can either use the front roller bar or the back, or both. If it's if the um, whatever works best for the product that you have. When you receive the machine, there are two plugs. One plug is for the rollers, and one plug is for the needles. There's two different motors. So plug those two into a surge protector, and then into your wall outlet or extension cord. The machine comes with two roller bars. The longer one goes in the front and the shorter one in the back of the machine. It all com so comes with this clear acrylic ramp. You can remove the plastic coating that's on the ramp. It's on both sides um, when you receive the machine. The machine has a forward and reverse feature as I s for the roller bars. And I'm turning them on. It's going. I'm in the back of the machine. It's coming through and I can go backwards. That's center off. And then it pulls the, the um, fiber through. And increase the speed. Now adjust the speed. Now I'm going to come back out again. Okay, the only oiling the machine um, you can do on the machine is right here where the hub, the um, metal piece fits into the hub for the needles it goes up and down you can oil right uh, up to where the hub is and then here next where this where this knot is the only maintenance besides um, you know doing a little vacuuming under if there's fiber underneath the machine is to put a couple drops only of oil right there where this metal piece is connected to the hub and then a drop or two right here where the metal piece and the nut meet. And never put oil on these roller bearings here because they are sealed bearings and um, they will be damaged if they're oiled. Okay, if you leave both of the top roller bars off, you can do like a, a little bit of a free motion um, uh, movement of needle felting. Take your piece and just um, move it around, you know, to get more needle felting where you want it. Just be sure to keep your hands outside the frame of the machine. I'm sitting in the back of the machine, and if you have it um, against a table, it's easier to work with 
um, putting the needles in or changing needles. On top of the needles are these angle pieces that are held in with screws and a little washer. So if you have a broken needle, you there's this machine has two angle pieces, a small one and a longer <coughs> one. So you just unscrew those screws, pick this up, you have a piece of um, foam here that holds the tops of the needles in place. You can tell where you have a broken needle, you just lift that broken needle out this, and then just replace it with a new needle that is not broken. Okay, when then go along the edge to push those tops of the needles in so they're not sticking out. You want them to be on top of the this um, inch bar that holds the needles and then place the piece of angle on top, put the screw and, and just hand screw it in and um, so you find where the, the spot is and then take your screwdriver and um, snug it up, tighten it up and snug it up. You don't need to over tighten it just so it's snug into the holding that angle down. And that's how you change needles. Change broken needles or add a new set of needles in your machine. Alright, now I want to show you how to do a checkerboard on the needle felting machine um, where you can have two different colors and you can um, make a checkerboard pattern, use it for a pillow or a bag. Okay, the first thing you do is you have your roving you take strips of your roving and two different colors and you lay it over the roller bar and into the needle area. Then you take your steel bar, place on top, and that holds the um, ends of the rovings in there. Okay, the next thing you do is start with one of the colors and go um, I put an opposite color back. Okay, I'm putting the red ones back. Go under, bring those down, and then take the next color up. Bring your piece of roving across, bring those down, take the next one up. And I think this time I'm going to switch to another color. So I'm bringing the tan over, bringing it across, it's a little thinner so I'm just going to add a little bit in there. And just continue like this till you have your um, piece. Okay, now I'm going to take this color and bring it down here. Tell you, um, you can add onto the end if you want to have a more of a continuous. You can add while it's running. And while while it's running, you can you can stop the machine and add more. So you can get like an, you know, almost infinite that, um, length. Okay, next I'll show you how to needle felt this. Okay, this is one time through, and now you can keep putting this through to get it nice and more strong and dense and needle felted. I'm going to remove this top roller bar, and I'm going to um, just ease the piece through. The heavier piece, the piece, or the more dense the piece gets, then you want to slow down the needle, but it's very easy to um, control. How you know how much needle felting you want? You work. You let the um, you let your piece go through, and then you can start on the other side and pull it back.
This is another piece that I did and um, using the needle felting machine and you can keep adding on. This was, I kept adding on to make this longer and I plan to use this for um, a chair for upholstery fabric.